Hello guys, we are about uh, to go to the bazaar today, uh, Saturday, uh, and we're doing like we can get away. It's closed like right here in downtown. Um, yeah, so we actually like dress up and she's dressing up too. And um, we maybe want to do like a little bit, you know, just a small picnic in there. I just bring fruits uh, for her and like the drink and I think that's it um, I don't know if we're gonna um, have a blanket and something like that but from what I know I I knew they have like a little bit um, you know bazaar so we can uh, shop uh, around or we can take a look and walk around I bought this dress from Amazon last year after I delivered my baby. It still fit Hi. even after a year, which I thought I lost my weight. So that's probably a good news. As usual on the weekend, we are doing a getaway which we drive around the local area and explore what they have, such an event, bazaar, unique place, sport, tradition, and culture. This weekend, we are going to downtown uh, Plano Historical. It's a unique and authentic place full of arts and also culinary. A bit story about it, uh, Plano is a city in the U.S. state of Texas, located approximately 20 miles north of downtown Dallas. The city of Plano is a part of the, da of the Dallas-Fort Worth metropolitan area. Plano lies mostly within Collin County, but includes a small portion that extends into Denton County. Back in the day, European settlers came to the area near present-day Plano in the early 1840s. A mail service was established and after rejecting several names for the nascent uh, town, including naming it in honor of then President Millard Fillmore, residents suggested the name Plano from the Spanish word for flat as a reverence to the local terrain unburied and devoid of any trees. The name was accepted by the post office. What's special with this place is I knew some antique stores, boutiques, coffee place and restaurant. Now, uh, this place that I'm going into is an antique stores. Um, hunting antique furniture and souvenir is the biggest hobby. So I dream of having my own house, so it will be a great idea if I can invest it from now. At least I know the list of a good place to shop.
are going to a boutique called Lila's. I uh, talked to the owner and she led me to do vlogging here all day. What I like about this boutique is their vintage style of outfit and art. It's all handmade and I can guarantee you that it's a good quality. I read it 8 out of 10 so you can check this place on my website too. I will link it down below. This place is a studio art uh, classes called uh, Pipe and Pellet. Um, this one is my favorite place uh, too and I heard they have um, the children program so we can uh, put our children there, uh, there while we um, do something or uh, for example like running errands and as soon as uh, we're done we can uh, take our kids back. So if you have a date or um, just want to finish uh, something then you can probably do that in that in that place for an hour or two hours and right here is the map I'm looking for the Hagar Park which um, 
Yeah, it's right there. I think. Yeah, it's uh, close to the um, dart uh, rail train and the museum. So we just go ahead and um, take a look on the buildings. Um, I do like the um, designs, and it's really old, but it's um, it's just authentic. So, and this is actually the Fillmore pub that's named after um, the president Fillmore. I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's in 1840s. And they do have like a patio and beside it is a, a stage. So um, they usually have a concert or a, like a country music concert uh, during the weekend and um, so many things. So I usually uh, spend the weekend here. Uh, back when I was at the college, but um, right now, like it's, I rarely even go out of the house. <laughs> Alright, so we cross the um, uh, trail. Another trail. Uh, a train, a rail train, and then. Uh, we headed to towards the Hogarth Park, but we have to pass by um, the apartments. So one time I came to this um, apartment complex and asked about the price, but it's still super expensive for me. So um, I yeah, so I choose um, not to and just look for the uh, cheaper apartment that I can afford. So the Hagar Park is right across um, this apartment, so I have to cross the, the street and here it is. And beside it is the museum, which um, in the 1800 and um, one time I came inside to this museum and I did like a small tour and they do have like the design for the uh, train, everything in the 1800. That's it is, and it's so old. And it comes with the um, like the system on the um, um, train, like how to um, to operate the train and the pilot and um, and everything. So I couldn't explain more, um, but right now they're, they're closed. So um, if they're open, I can just like go and uh, do a tour and probably can show you. Okay guys, thank you for um, watching and I guess I'll see you guys next time.